this is Stacy Slade and Frenzy here. We are going to show you something that we sadly are working on. Um, we Chase was up in the mountains and she ate some type of animal poo and brought Giardia back into the house. It happens. Dogs get Giardia. Uh, you really want to start in on training your dog how to take medication before they need that medication. So that way you're not stressed, the dog's not stressed, you're like, we practice this, we know how to do it. So, um, real life example, I'm having to give my dogs Panicure Safeguard, it's called Fen Bendazole, it's dog warmer. And I, uh, it for 10 days, it's a liquid, it's chalky, it does not taste great. Uh, we're on day three and uh, it's, you know, it, my dogs are fine with it because I, I've got a few videos back, where, back that you can watch of how I get my dogs used to putting my hands in their mouth, giving them kibble as pills. So they get used to my hands all over their mouth to come in over the top of them. They're not scared of it. They're not worried about it. They feel like they're gonna get a reward from it. So all of those things you should be doing with your puppy, your young dog, your old dog, because at some point in time, God forbid, your dog is gonna have to take pills. Yes, we got the peanut gallery frenzy. So let's get on with this. So, and it's quite a bit. I've got a 35 milliliter syringe from my vet. And I'm going to pull up, it's, it's uh, one cc per five pounds. So it's 18 to 19, 20 cc's for these guys. So you can see this is full of a white chalky fluid. I'm gonna do it out here so you can see it. Come here. So the first thing is I have treats, okay? So I'm asking, I have no collar leash on Frenzy. She trusts me, we have a good relationship. I've got her sitting in a corner. I lured her to sit in a corner, her booties up against the corner so she can't back up on me, it's just me. And then I'm gonna take this, I'm putting my hand over the top of her muzzle, see she's not fighting it because she's used to it. And I'm gonna put it in the side of her mouth, I'm tipping her head up, and I'm gonna scratch her throat. I'm gonna try and do this the wrong direction so you guys can see. So I put this in her mouth, I support her chin, my knees there too, I put some in her mouth. I don't put it all in at one time. I scratch her throat. I tipped her chin up. Good girl. About halfway through, I stop. I've got a pocket full of treats, and she knows that. She gets a treat to change the taste in her mouth, but also to keep the trust there that I'm not trying to poison her, which I'm pretty sure she thinks this is poison. Good girl, friends. Notice my voice is low. I'm a good girl talking to her, but I'm not saying it's okay, it's okay, because that would make her worried about like, what do I need to not be okay about? I'm just calm, not talking about it. I'm not telling her stop, no, sit, not getting mad. There's no emotion going into this. Put some more in there. Good girl, good girl. Good job, that was a good job. Now I will say the first time we did this, it did spray a few places, that's why we're doing it in the kitchen. And then I reward her with a bunch of cookies. So this is her reward for doing it. Good job, friends. And it's that simple. So you might say, well, Stacy, that looks crazy easy and she's used to that, you do it all the time. Well, that was three days ago was the first time I put a syringe of medicine in her mouth. And as you can tell, she's gagging. She doesn't love the taste, um, but she does it willingly because she knows she gets paid. She knows I'm not upset about it. I'm not emotional. Um, so now we'll show Chase, and I actually have to also give Chase uh, last day of pills. So uh, this will be round two. Chase, come. So first of all, my dogs know I have good treats. I've kind of upped my treats each day. I can even up it to string cheese if I need to. So I'm gonna get her sitting in the corner, sit. She's a little more wary, sit. Good girl, Chase, good girl. And I reward her. And I probably should have drawn this up before she came here. Ah, yep, see, she's like, nope, I'm out of here. Come here, Chase. So now, that was my mistake. I should have drawn up my meds before I got here. Chase, come. See, now she's <laughs> she's right here. She's like, uh, I don't know if I wanna do this. Come here. Come, good, sit. Use my knee a little bit to direct them, but I don't 
Push slaps it. Chase it. Good. Good job, Chasey Boo. All right, so again, I'm doing this backwards. Maybe frenzy, frenzy sit. Frenzy, down. She likes to watch. All right, so I'm gonna put it, I tip her head up, my knee's there. Good girl, Chasey Boo, good job. So again, confidence, and I am gonna hold her here. Got her cheeks, stop, stop, you're fine. So my communication is you're fine. Just got her head here. She just doesn't like it. Tip her head up is the important part. Now she's spilling some out of her mouth. I'm gonna give her a treat. Good girl. This isn't a perfectly perfect process in the sense that they're spitting some of it out. But I'm just doing about five cc's at a time. So they actually can get it down their throat and I can tip their throat up and I'm actually rubbing, massaging their throat so they do swallow. Oops, that was my fault. I squirted it. Good job. Good job, Jace. So she did awesome. We got some on, our, on us, but we have a towel for that and we can wipe ourselves off and we're doing pretty good. So that's how I give liquid medicine. Chasey Roo, come here. So I'm gonna give Chase a couple pills. Chase, come. So same, same process, come here. Oh, she's like, that's not treats. Chase, come. The girl, yeah. Food, lots of treats in this. Turn her around, sit. Good. Give her treats. I, I grab a little bit under her cheek just because she's an alcohol on. Sit, you stay. I put the pills in my mouth, right here. Try how easy to grab. I grab one, I have her cheek. I open her mouth, put it down her throat and massage her, her throat. When I open their mouth, you guys, I am putting my fingers over their, their lips and curling their lips into their teeth so the teeth open. So it's an automatic, I'm not prying their mouth open. So I open the mouth, stick it in the back of the throat, under back where their tongue meets their throat. And then I start massaging and I tip the head up. Some dogs are easier than others. And she's like, I'm out of here. Come here, Chase, you get, your, you get your treats for that. So lots of treats, lots of calmness. I'm not fighting them. There are some dogs I've had to do it in the bathroom where I have a closed door because they do you want to bail on me? Once I get through the process once or twice, I'm not hurting the dog. I'm not um, yelling at them. I'm not making it, I'm making it just an easy, like they're just like, okay, where are the treats, mom? I don't love it, but at least we can get through it. They get their medication. I don't have it generally all over me. And we can do this. We have to do this 10 days in a row. So it's not like something I can just do once and like, oh my God, I got through that. I needed to train them how to do this so we can do it efficiently, well, and easily every morning. Hopefully that helps. Train your dogs to do the things that they don't want to do, like clipping toenails, brushing, use lots of treats, start it in small increments and work, work up to it. If I only had to do 10 cc's in the morning, 10 cc's at night, or come back to it an hour later, that's what I would have done. Don't stress your dog out over it because you stress out, they stress out, and then it becomes a really negative experience. Try and keep it good. Don't come at them. Oh, we're gonna do this. Cause then the dog's like, whoa, no, we're not. So make sure that you're calm. I didn't have a lot of words for them getting them in here. I'm like, come on, let's go over it right here. Good dog. I didn't, I asked them to sit because I needed them sitting, but I didn't say sit, sit. Because why would a dog do that for me if I'm asking in that language? I ask them, I'm like, no, you need to sit. That's not what we're doing. Please sit, sit now. Here's food, good dog. Reward them when they do it. My language is very confident. It's low, it's not high pitched, it's not comforting. It is, hey, we're gonna do this. I'm confident about it. You should be too. It's no harm, no foul. And I noticed Frenzy wants the treats, but she doesn't want medicine. So she's waiting until I put my hands in my pocket. She sits around the corner. She's like, I don't really like this, but I really like the treats. Anyway, hope that helps you guys. And uh, please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. We've got videos from all of Raising Bernese Mountain Dogs, training, giving pills, 
grooming, drafting, all sorts of fun things, right, Frenzy? Come here. She's like, no, you're gonna give him meds. <laughs> Have a good day, you guys. Yeah.